Um, I was asked to talk a bit about bullying. Um, and uh, bullying can take place in the playground, as we know, but also uh, in the workplace. And in the playground, how are we told to, talk, to deal with bullying? We're told to report it to an adult, report it to a teacher, report it to the authorities. And that's supposed to make it go away. In my experience, it doesn't. It just puts it underground. So what techniques can we use for dealing with bullies? Of course we must document it. Of course we must tell people. Um, but one way, we can just disarm the bully. You know, they tell us we're fat. Well, it's so nice to be so thin. How do you get so thin? Uh, express an interest. The bully really wants attention. So give the bully attention. Um, that's one way of dealing with it. I think there are five important um, approaches to being bullied and to dealing with that. Uh, the first one is you need to ground yourself. You need to make sure that you yourself feel confident, informed, uh, focused. Uh, secondly, maybe call their bluff. Maybe, you know, if they're, if, if, if they're asking what you've done, what you haven't done, uh, if they're intimidating you, well, ask them, how? How are they doing this? Get more information. Call their bluff. If, if they're threatening to go and tell somebody about you, let them do it. Because once they've told, or you go and tell, once they've done that, actually they've got no power. The third one really is my um, preferred approach, is duck and smile. You know, just, just deal with it, smile. They, don't, they want to see you hurt. Don't give them that power. Smile, because actually a little bit of smiling does a lot of good. And the more we smile, the more good we do, actually, generally. Um, I, I, I was telling people the other day, uh, how do you change a bad atmosphere somewhere? Just go around the place, hug each other. Um, fourth point, find a champion. Now, that, that really is to tell a teacher. But find a champion, even if you're in the workplace. Find somebody who will champion you. Find someone who will... <coughs> Um, stand up to these people. Um, you can't because you are the target. And that's often the case. You can't do it. You may be very strong, but you're not in a position to challenge these people because they have targeted you and they know how you're going to respond to particular pressure points. And the fifth point, absolutely essential, document, 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 and report it. And if possible, get witnesses. Um, we have to change this atmosphere. It's something that has developed over the last 20, 30 years. It's got worse and worse and worse. And the power of these nasty, nasty, pernicious people. We need to stop it. So those are my four, five points. And um, if that's of some help, um, please use it. I, I think uh, as a, a sixth point, um, don't be stoic. Stoicism is an approach to bullying, but don't be stoic. You're stoic, you think sticks and stones, sticks and stones won't hurt my bones, but actually sticks and stones do stick. Um, or not sticks and stones, names do stick. And um, uh, stoicism, simply not responding, is a vacuum. And a bully demands a response, they want a reaction, and if they don't get a reaction, they just keep going. Um, bullies seek advantage and recognition. Um, so they will continue. Give them something. A bully doesn't respond to nothing. Give them something. But you don't necessarily need to give them what they're asking for. Anyway, my advice for what it's worth today. Have fun. Be careful.